I'd like to share a quick story with you. Uh, years ago, when, a, when I was an assistant golf professional, I worked up at a country club in Chicago called Exmoor. And um, a year later, I worked at uh, Barrington Hills uh, Golf and Country Club. Well, while at Exmoor, uh, during the winter one year, we set up an indoor training center. Um, we had it uh, um, complete with a net and balls. And, and back then, we're talking like 30 years ago, video was relatively new. So it was really one of the first times that I'd had a chance to work on uh, my swing while looking at video. And I remember uh, my left elbow had a little bend in it at the top of the swing. So for about an hour and a half, I did everything I could to keep my left arm straight. I just locked the elbow. I, I got really rigid with my left arm. And every time I videotaped it, it had this bend at the top of the swing. And I just couldn't understand why. Um, later on, when I was at Barrington Hills the next year, I had a golf instructor that worked on getting me really loosey goosey. He, he wanted me, he wanted me to get really loose with my arms and hands, and he had a couple of other things that he wanted me to do with my swing. And I experimented with it, and I remember getting really loose, and I started getting a lot more distance, a lot more pop in my shots. And I thought, well, you know, maybe he's right about that. I need to relax my wrists and everything. So um, I remember uh, uh, a week later, I just happened to videotape it, and I looked at my left arm at the top of the swing, and my left arm looked like it was dead straight. So here's the key. Um, obviously, you'd say, okay, well, relax wrist, but why? And, and what I like to do is I like to um, explain things, and, and we have uh, Newton's laws of motion, and the third law um, that he, he wrote about was for every action, there's an equal, equal and opposite reaction. So if you look at the golf club, when it goes back, I'm taking this golf club and I'm kind of tossing it to the right, so to speak, or, or giving it momentum away from the target and to my right since I'm a right-handed golfer. And when I get to a, right about here in the golf swing, the golf club head can't go any further that way away from the target because I'm hanging on to it. So if my wrists are relaxed, it's going to start hinging back in towards me. Well, this weight up here, this golf club head, the weight on the, the end of the stick, when it starts coming towards me, that's an action of motion. And the equal and opposite reaction is the butt end going away. Okay, so what's connected to the to the butt end of the club? Well, yeah, it's my left hand. So if I if I let my wrists relax and I give this motion centrifugal force and inertia and everything going away from the target like this, and then I allow my wrists to hinge, that equal and opposite reaction pulls my left arm pretty straight as long as I'm relaxed. Okay, you can see this in the swings of Ben Hogan, you know Payne Stewart. There's a lot of people have very relaxed swings. Even Phil Mickelson's arm stays pretty darn straight at the top of the swing. So it's it's the relaxation in the wrists, okay, that allows it to hinge and not break down the elbow. Now, consequently, if you're really tight with your wrists and you get back to right in here you're probably going to bend at the elbow because your mind wants to create power. Okay, and it knows that a short swing like this is not very powerful. So you're going to bend somewhere to try to get more, more distance and, and more length of backswing. So the best thing to do is to let your wrists relax. Let the club head come in and the butt end go out. All right, and that, that third law, Newton's third law of motion, will allow your left arm to stay really straight at the top of your swing. Try this uh, on the practice tee at first and recognize that when you let your wrists break, your, your arm swing will be shorter. Your hands don't have to go back as far if you want to stop the left elbow from bending. See here my hands have gone back further. My left elbow is bent. But if I straighten my left elbow, my hands haven't gone as far, but now the club head will go further. So it's okay to let your club head swing and go further back, but try not to let your hands go further back. This will allow your wrists to get really relaxed, butt end will go away, and that equal and opposite action, head coming in closer to you, butt end going away further, pulls that left arm straight at the top of the swing. You can kind of see, see how it would work. If I'm really relaxed, just toss it back there, let it hinge, and it pulls this left arm nice and straight at the top of the swing. Hope this helps and uh, have a great day.